Today's video will show you how to get the Axiom to work with Ableton Live. Let's start by changing the preferences in Ableton Live. Before we can use the Axiom controller with Ableton, we're going to have to go into the preferences and set it up. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is, is go to the MIDI Sync tab, which is where we are now. Then you're going to click on the Control Services table, and for one, we're going to go down and choose the Axiom that we have. So we have the Axiom 49. So we're going to click that. And you can see that the input and output is now filled in with USB Axiom 49 and USB Axiom 49. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and where it says the Axiom 49, we're going to turn track and remote on for both the input and the output. And what we're going to do is click the button next to the table here that says dump. It's going to ask us if we want to overwrite the current settings and we're going to click OK. What that does is erase the presets for the Axiom that are on channels 18, 19, and 20 so that we can use them for Ableton. Ableton assigns controls to presets 18, 19, and 20. To change the presets on the Axiom, press the plus or minus button to cycle between presets or input the number manually. Ableton Live has three presets by default for the Axiom and each serves a unique purpose. If you want to use the pads to control impulse in Live, use preset 18 as the pads are already assigned to control impulse. If you want to control one of Live's devices and edit a MIDI track at the same time, use preset 19. If you want to use all of the Axiom's functions and take control over all of Live's general settings, use preset 20. And if you don't like the presets that Ableton provides, feel free to customize your own MIDI mappings. One thing that Ableton Live really allows you to do is customize your MIDI mappings. Pretty much everything in the software can be MIDI mapped and using the Axiom is a great way to utilize that. So we're going to go up here to the top right where it says MIDI and we're going to click on that. And you can see now that we have all of these icons that are blue now. So we're going to click on the arrow over here and it's going to open up our MIDI mappings tab here and this will show us all the different MIDI mappings that we have. Now when you want to assign a control to be mapped, you're just simply going to click on it. So we'll click on, say, this track activator here. And we will click on a control on our Axiom. There's now the letter and number indicator here that relies to the key we pressed and the mapping up here. So I'll just go ahead and assign a few more. And when you're done assigning, you can simply hit the MIDI button again. Okay, so now let's check to make sure that our mappings work. And you can see I'm just pushing the buttons that I've assigned, and the mappings are working. That's it for this episode of the DJ Podcast. Become a fan at facebook.com slash the DJ Podcast.